What they care about is connecting with other humans on those journeys. Your audience find value in following your journey. You're in a place a few steps ahead of them, but you're in a similar journey. They want to watch you fall and pick yourself back up. So when they encounter the similar situations, they know what to do. And you've created an impact in their life because they're able to learn from your mistakes and grow themselves as a human being by learning from you. Right. So if you just embody your passion and you chase that and you can consistently show up daily, you will find people that want to fall in love with you and follow your journey. And you can offer them a product or service along the way. And they're going to take it because they want to support your journey and grow with you. Welcome to Business Insights with Matt Milia. I'm your host, Matt Milia. And in this podcast, we'll talk about the real, raw, uncut business success secrets you won't find anywhere else. Follow my journey from entry level to CEO. We discuss real actionable items you can plug into your business right away. To subscribe to our weekly top tips, you can go to www.mattpodcast.com and join our community of elite high-level performers. And if you're interested in our inside sales company, you can go to www.appointmentstoday.com to jump on a free strategy call. And now, stay tuned for our podcast. What is going on in the world, everybody? How are we doing today? Happy Wednesday. Today is uh, episode number 13 of Business Insights, which is crazy because, I, I mean, hell, getting this far is a, a huge accomplishment. And if you're looking to make some big money today, I got uh, I got Big Marv on. And uh, Marv, and I appreciate you jumping on. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself and a little bit about uh, about your story and what you do. So I'm Big Marv. I help entrepreneurs rapidly build and scale their brands with automation. Uh, so what kind of started this journey was I worked for Microsoft for six years, automating commercial and enterprise servers. And, you know, these guys are, are losing money every day and and making these big decisions and you know i i just had this revelation one day like dude there's got to be more to life than this you know like my my whole life i was told you know just be be good go to school go to college get a good job at a company make six figures live the life of your dreams you know so i finally did that i got in at microsoft i worked my way up got the six figure income. I was building incredible systems and processes, but it just wasn't everything it was cracked up to be, you know, like at the end of the day, I was always wondering, like, I, I think it's gotta be more to life than this because I'm making 140 K a year right now. And I'm still like going home wondering like, okay, what's the next, what's the next thing in life? So I started building system, the same systems, for small business owners started automating lead acquisition and their, e- their emails and some of their follow-up and appointments and things like, you know, just simple little automations that, you know, take a lot of time that you can automate. And I was noticing a huge impact it was making for these business owners. So I, uh, what really pivoted it for me was I found a coach, right? So, Everybody always says, if you could go back, what would you do differently? And what I would do differently is hire a coach sooner, right? Because I was going at it for a while. And then I I found this guy named Billy Jean. And I spent almost all the money that I had to go to his conference in San Diego. And I paid the extra money so I can meet him, you know, one-on-one and ask him questions. And he told me, he's like, dude, you're, you're big Marv. Just go out there and, and do your thing. You know, like the difference between you and all these other guys is you actually are an IT guy. You came from Microsoft. Like you, you know what you're doing? You're not, you're not some guru that took a course trying to teach people how to do things. You got real tech knowledge and real technical solutions that you can help people with. Just go out there. Trust me. You, people are going to want and need your services. Uh, so I came, I flew home, I shot my first ad. It's still my 
my first video on YouTube because I want to show people like, look, this is my first ad. You can do it. I shot this with an iPhone 6. I love it. That's awesome. Tell me a little bit about what it is you do today, because I think that's what, uh, that's, I know that's what you're the most passionate about. I mean, what is it that today you are offering up to, uh, to individuals like myself, even for example? Yes, I have my wave makers group. So I had to develop this process, who they are, who their passion is, who they want to serve the core signature offer all the way up to scaling and, and having your lead acquisition on autopilot. So your business continues to thrive. You know, so I developed a process that no matter where you are, we just find out where you are in that process and we plug you in. And I've accumulated a, a team of networks or, or, or a team of experts that I've networked with that we come into my group and we do live coaching five days a week to make sure these to make sure these personal brands are implementing the process and scaling Um you know, from from the video content strategy to the automation, uh, funnels, ads, e emails, every everything. And I have a team of experts in my group, people that are out here building personal brands and making waves, trying to make the largest impact on the world. I've gone through some of the like the big names like Frank Kern and his coaching. And don't get me wrong, I mean their stuff is great, but. Uh, what I love the most about your stuff is that whole personal approach, which, by the way, guys, if you're watching for anybody who uh, wants a little bit more information, maybe wants some help building your ads, building your brand, uh, differentiating in today's market, because let's face it, the market today is cluttered with ads. You got people that are constantly trying to get out there and differentiate themselves, yet sometimes I think we make it a little bit too challenging or we complicate it. We make it more difficult on ourselves. And the bottom line is you just got to get out there and just do it. Just get out of your own way. Uh, Kristen, talk a little bit about, you know, when you guys met at Billy Jean, how that all transpired. Marv made quite an impact. I knew Marv, what, about Marv about two years ago? And I mean, everybody knew who Marv was. Marv also had slippers that he won that Billy Jean had sent him. So that was like almost like a trophy or a prize. And he wore them around there. He actually went up on stage in front right. of all these people. He was the guy to know at Billy Jean. He really was. And I actually, uh, my ex-husband and I hired Marv to do uh, some website work for us, right? I immediately thought like, this guy's a Microsoft guy. I'm a salesperson. I don't want to deal with all that tech stuff and here's this guy who is like ready to work and eager and smart and knows all these systems the thing about marv is he's like yoda with these systems so that's that's the thing about wave makers if you're stuck somewhere he can usually give you an idea on how to work your way out of it because i know as a business owner before i joined matt uh, you know, I, something technical would hold you up forever if you didn't get an answer to it and it would drive you crazy. And oh, like yeah. Marv can kind of find your way through there. Uh, and also I'm just impressed in how much you've grown Marv in the past two years. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. I can say the biggest thing to my success is being consistent, consistently driving down that one signature offer, that one signature my purpose, what I'm trying to deliver and not altering from that. So I, I see a lot of people, they'll start something new and they don't get any, they don't get any results in 30 days or they don't get any results in two months. Hell, they might even give it a solid six months, but they still throw in the towel, you know? So you just, the mm -hmm. key to all of this is identifying what your passion is, who you're here to serve, and what impact you're going to make. Right. So a lot of people they chase the almighty dollar, and like, and I see it every day in groups. Like, right? hey, I'm just getting into digital marketing. What's the quickest um, industry to get involved in to make money? You know, so mm -hmm. like somebody posted yesterday, like, who, who's the what's the easiest way to get conversions? Like, chiropractors, dentists, lawyers uh b2b like and they they said all these options so like you know you have it backwards the 
it's going to be a long journey regardless of which industry you choose. So since time out of time and money, everything boils down to time or money and only one of those resources you get back, you know? So, so true. Uh, your, all your time should be spent doing something you're in love with, something you're passionate about. So identify your passion and the impact that you want to make and consistently chase that. I guarantee that whatever your passion is, there's at least a thousand other people out there that love doing the same thing and they're just dying to fall in love with you. I love it. That in itself is a huge takeaway for a lot of people because a lot of times people start with money first. Let's see how much money this is going to make. How, you know, how quickly am I going to become a millionaire? Well, if you become a millionaire, but you absolutely can't stand your life, you're depressed, it's going to be pretty tough. Like I said, at Microsoft, I worked up to 140K a year. I was eating steak dinners regularly, getting massages, going out to clubs. Like, outsider looking in, you would be thinking I was living my best life. Right, right. But at the end of the day, I was constantly depressed because I'm like, I feel like I'm such a genius and I have this skill set, but nothing I'm doing is making an impact. You know, not, nothing I'm doing is actually worth a damn. And then when I when I first came back, remember I told you I built an agency to six figures in five months. But even after doing that, I was collecting all the money and I was just working with anybody because I had the same mindset. What clients can I serve to make the most money? You know, like at, at least I get a guaranteed check all the time. Right. Yeah. You know, and, and so I actually collapsed my agency. I said, fuck it. I, I went underground for like three months. And that's when I hired my first coach, my my first one on one. Like, let's let's make some shit happen. And he helped me. He helped me get dialed in to my signature offer. And then I started working with my buddy Curtis, who helped me develop the Wave Makers a year and a half ago. So our our, our first rendition of the Wave Makers was a personal brand blueprint that we wrote. Um, it's a hundred day sequence that basically teaches you how to build a personal brand from nothing, like from an idea. When you get to a point though, that you need help in your business, you want somebody that's going to like hold your hand, walk you through all the ins and outs and help dot the I's, cross the T's where a lot of these other groups I was in, it was almost like they were trying to do this bullshit one size fits all and where they're, you know, Oh, here, let's, let me show you what we do. And then they, you know, they put something together for you, but it wasn't at all custom to anything to do with your industry. Curtis is the personal brand, like master. Like he's the guy, if you have an idea in your head, he can help you become a superstar with that idea. Love it. And when you join the wave makers, you actually get access to him, right? So your first eight weeks in the wave maker process is actually working one on one with double up to define and build your personal brand. Then once you define and build your personal brand with that signature core offer, then you come over to me and I walk you through uh, four weeks of actually automating and building that personal brand to monetize it. It's it's funny, Marv, because I know when we first started working together and, you know, it, it took a little bit for me because, you know, from a, a business owner standpoint, you've got that pride factor. and You're like, oh, I know what I'm doing. And then you're like, oh, so basically you're just kind of you have no strategy. Is that pretty much what I'm hearing? I'm like, Shit, yeah, I have no I have no strategy. <laughs> so and it, it was it was one of those like look in the mirror moments being like, yeah, I need to have a strategy on how I'm going to grow and build my business. Um, we have an amazing content strategy, uh, but we didn't have like an actual paid uh, advertising, a paid marketing, an actual, and really even branding. I still, I'm still working through the branding, and finally, I it's it's become clear to me where I want to go, what I want to do, uh, and that's been that's been the the most amount of impact I've had from that group. Plus, the, plus the fact that you. You're not trying to go one size fits all. I, every time I come on the call, it's like, oh, hey, you know, open up your screen. Let me see how your ads are doing. I mean, when you and I, before I even got in there, I had a point. And now again, I don't know how many people in here are marketers, but if you listen to this element of this, a point was like 0 0.042. I mean, it was like ridiculous. I had over 
1,500 people were going to my landing page. And I'm like, yes, these guys are getting on my landing page, score. And then no one was opting in. And so it's like, we need to be quick hitting, get somebody to stop and then explain what you're doing. And that was the biggest takeaway I got from you, Marv, was like actually going on, like, hey, shoot a video, shoot a video on that page and see uh, where you end up. Ends up be, I ended up like now I'm almost at 10% like opt-in. So for every person that sees my landing page, 10% of people are saying, okay, I'll, I'll give you my information. I mean, that that's huge. Right. Uh, that in itself is a, a big takeaway. Marv, even when he was helping me with funnels that I had made, we all try to make things really complicated sometimes. Yeah. And when people went on or the Matt's original yeah. landing page, they didn't really know what it was. Um, it was just like a picture and they're like, ah, oh, and you get distracted and you go do something else. Let me go look at cat videos instead. Right. So that video explained what was going on, what was in there, open it up, click on it. It's like you, you almost have to instruct people like do this, go here. And that's kind of what Marv had told me. Like you have to point them in the right direction. Don't assume that they know what to do when they get on your page, unless you tell them. That's the big difference between, you know, like a website and a funnel, right? When you say funnels, a lot of people assume like, oh, that's a click funnels thing or a cartridge thing or a builder all thing or whatever. All those things are just tools that allow you to build a website. So a funnel is simply just a web page with very specific language and elements to instruct someone to take a specific action. Right. So when you, you wouldn't send paid traffic to like just your blog because there's too many options, there's too many things to distract them and take them along somewhere else. Right. You have to get someone's attention in three seconds or less or they're moving on. Right. Yeah. So you build a funnel page, you're you're using a message to identify that audience, hook them in, and then you're instructing them what to do from there click this button below enter your email address hit hit submit now yes i want you to coach me you have you have to get into their mind and get them to take those actions that's the biggest difference between a website and a funnel like a, a funnel can be built with wordpress like it, it doesn't matter it's just that that's what differentiates them a web page solely getting them to take a specific action versus a web page that just lets them do whatever the fuck they want and my my funnel page was so damn confusing. People would go and they'd be like, well, do I, do I want a blueprint? Do I want to schedule the call? Uh, do I want to click around and get lost at the bottom of the page? Am I going to watch a little bit see some testimonials? What the hell's going on? And it took so much for me to realize that those options are paralyzing. And people are getting on the page and it's like they got this paralysis. They're like, the hell do I do? The only thing they know to do is hit the exit button. They're like, oh, hell, this is crazy. I'm out of here. And, and that's it. They're gone. It's like, and then they, they could be gone forever after that. If you're not doing things the right way, that that's it. And then I had this mindset, all right, if I build it, they will come. So I'm going to go and I'm going to put all this shit together. I'm going to get them to go to my one advertisement. And then if I don't hit it out of the park, I failed. Yeah. Have you ever yeah. heard that before? Dude, that's actually a huge misconception that most people have, right? Most people actually go into this. You would not believe the amount of people that I've worked with that say, yeah, dude, I, I thought I needed a funnel and I needed this, I needed that. And they actually, they have absolutely no strategy. They don't realize the strategy in the follow-up sequence is where the money's at. Yeah. The money is not in the front end funnel and the advertising. That is just to get their attention. You're gonna get the money in the the fu money. That's why what I call it. You got right. Unlock. You know that follow up money. That's that's where it's at. So I, I've worked with so many people where they're like they paid five thousand dollars for like this funnel, and then they paid like two grand for this email sequence, and these things don't even go together. Like this email sequence is not the same messaging as this funnel sequence, and the funnel sequence doesn't match the message in the ad. Right. Yes. And so and that was some of the disconnect that Matt had when we started working together, because Matt's ad was saying one thing. Then you would get to the funnel page and the funnel page would say one thing. Then you would just scroll down the funnel page and it would say something else. So it's just like there was no strategy. There was no cohesion. And I'm like, 
dude, the first thing you need to do before you do any of that shit is talk to a strategist. It don't have to be me. Like, Big Marv's not for everybody. But find a guy like me. Find somebody in your industry that's that or somebody that's worked in your industry before and they they know your demographic and what works in your industry and build that strategy first once you build the strategy then you know which platforms you need you're not just well because that's the other thing people i've had people build out whole e-com sites on square for example and if you guys don't know anything about square it's fucking terrible when it comes to paid advertising if you're going to do e-com, you want to do Shopify, right? Shopify integrates natively with paid advertising platforms so you can retarget people because the money is in retargeting, right? So they'll, they invested all this money, but on the Square site, I'm like, yeah, you're now you're going to have to pay me to migrate it from Square to Shopify. And that affects it all. And, and it, yeah, I, I totally, totally right. get it. You just wasted a lot of money. I had this yep. I had this one client who six months prior to hiring me, she asked me for advice. Right, because I do this a lot. Like I got I all do free strategy sessions with people and just give them a strategy. Like, look, this is the platforms you want to use. This is you want to automate it. This is how much it costs to hire my team to do it. If you don't hire us to do it, you're gonna have the strategy anyways. Good luck. You know, so she contacted me and I was like, look, these are the platforms you want to use. This is how you're going to automate it. This is how it's going to flow. Do this. You can even build it yourself. It'll be very simple. Or you can pay my team. Uh, I think I charge one at thirty five hundred dollars at the time, you know, and she's like, OK, and we we did. I didn't close the deal. Basically, she didn't take my advice. She ended up hiring some big name team charged her like 10 grand and it, six months later it still wasn't functioning properly the way she envisioned it and she had another conversation with me and i was like then you should have listened to me so then i then she then she paid me we migrated it had it live in two weeks and she was in profit so she so she was like basically lost the 10 grand from the original build Plus, however many thousands of dollars she missed on lost revenue from not advertising. So she was making between ten and 20000 a month once she actually launched and was selling it. So that's six, crazy. Six months of not making ten to 20K. That's rough. And I mean, that's where like so my my ideal situation with you, Marv, is for me to be able to say. I want to go and run ads and know that for every dollar I put in $2.50, $3 is going to come right back to me. And that's the key to building these systems and processes. Once you identify your audience and you get that lead acquisition dialed in to where it is coming in, now you can accurately predict those numbers and say, well, now if I scale this campaign by this many percentage, these numbers are elevate here and this is what I can realistically expect and you can so repeat true. it time and time again every month it's a it's a very linear process you know the the numbers you can you can track an end user from the first time they see your ad to when they convert and beyond if you have your system set up properly so so marv summing this up because i know one of the biggest challenges for a lot of I mean, just real estate agents, loan officers, entrepreneurs in general uh, is is marketing. What do you think is like the number one? And I know you've talked on it, but I mean, just if you had to sum it all up, what would you say is the number one challenge that most people have that are looking to get into marketing or they are looking to uh, you know, brand themselves or run paid ads? Where, where do you think they where do you think the biggest downfall is for them? I think the biggest downfall, honestly, is people not having the confidence to be the face of their own brain. Oh, wow. It's huge. So getting on camera. Fear fear is what's keeping people from being successful because you can organically grow and make huge strides. You can inside six months, you can be earning six figures 
if you just consistently post every day. I'm so confident in that, that the first wave maker that successfully goes live every single day for a year following my repurposing strategy, I'm going to give them $10,000. That's how confident I, I am in that. Because that that's all it is. We're all human beings. Nobody gives a fuck about the product or service anymore. It's true. Right? We live in a connected world now where you can connect to people all over the world through a microphone and a camera and the internet, right? So what they care about is connecting with other humans on those journeys. So that's why it's imperative that you're not pursuing money because that's not enough of a motivator to get you through those downtimes, right? Because a lot of people think that becoming an entrepreneur and being successful is a line like this, you know? And it's not a line like this, it goes like this, you know? So if all you're doing is pursuing money, something you're not passionate about, when you get to those down slopes, it's not going to be enough of a motivator to make you, to push you, to be consistent and to deliver to that, to your audience, because your, your audience finds value in following your journey because they're seeing you take steps because you're, you're in a place a few steps ahead of them, but you're in a similar journey. So they, they want to watch you fall and pick yourself back up. So when they encounter the similar situations, they know what to do. And you've created an impact in their life because they're able to learn from your mistakes and grow themselves as a human being by learning from you, right? So if you just embody your passion and you chase that and you consistently show up daily, you will find people that want to fall in love with you. And, and, and follow your journey and you can offer them a product or service along the way and they're going to take it because they want to support your journey and grow with you. I think the, um, I mean, man, that's, that's, that is fire. I mean, I can't, I can't even really do too much as far to follow up on that, but it's so true because a lot of times I feel like people are just afraid to be themselves, be whoever the fuck you, you are, be authentic, be genuine. Don't be, don't don't put yourself in a place of uh, where you're not where you're not delivering the most true version of yourself and sometimes people are just so afraid of what what everyone's going to think and or what everyone is going to say or you got that one person that's a troll Marv, I'm curious. I mean, how do you deal? How do you, I mean, you, you know, you're you're in the, the the spotlight. How do you deal with the trolls, man? Fuck the trolls. I love haters, right? Like like Cat Williams says, that's their job. Right. If haters don't have nobody to hate on, feel free to hate on me, baby. Like, that's, go ahead and do right. it. No matter what you do, there's always going to be somebody that has something negative to say. You could so be true. washing fucking oils off of seals up in Alaska, and you're still going to have motherfuckers saying, oh, you're using Dawn. Why don't you get some organic shit to wash them with? Washing animals with chemicals. Good fucking job. I'm like, Bitch, you're behind the screen on Facebook. At least I'm up here washing some seals. That's true. I'm always going to have people that have something to say. Every single time I run a paid ad, I get people in the comment section talking shit. It's true. I don't care. It, it's going to happen. And people let that fear lead them, right? They're like, they let people judge them. Like, because the people around them, their friends and their family, their their boy that that's been their friend since the second grade, yeah. you know, and those people are stuck in their lives and their whatever bullshit situation they're in, and so when you're over here being successful, like you should have seen the reaction from my friends when I was like, yeah, I quit Microsoft to do my own thing. They were like, what the fuck? You're such an idiot. Like seriously. Oh, yeah. You're making $140,000 a year. I make $12 an hour. I wish I could make some money like that. You know, like they were fucking tripping balls. They were like, this is the dumbest fucking thing you've ever done. I cleared 600000 last year. Wow. That's crazy. And so, to think, like, yeah. Do what I you love. I created my own life of freedom around doing what I love. But yeah. along that whole journey, I lost so many friends or people that I thought were friends because they thought I was a fucking idiot. Yeah. You know, you're going to get that. You're going to experience that. You have to get over that fear 
just be yourself. So even your friends, your moms, it doesn't matter who it is. If you have to cut them off on this journey, just realize that they were in your life for a reason. And maybe you need to continue on so you can progress further as a human being because the only people you should have around you are people that lift you up, encourage you, and push you to be the very best version of yourself, regardless of who that person is. Yeah, that's so true. That is so true. And it's funny because when when someone sees what you're doing and it's not like if you're going, if everyone else is going right and you're going left, everyone's like, what the fuck? He's going left. Like this guy, like, and then of course they want to villainize you. And I even had, I mean, I, I've had it happen in my life many times where I've made a decision to do something in my business. People are like, that's crazy. It'll never work. And then, you know, lo and behold, it works. So it's just, what are you committed to? All right. And the, I think the best thing too is, are you committed to doing it or are you just interested in doing it? Uh, and, you know, showing up every day with a high level of commitment is, is where it needs to go. And that was one thing I took away too, just from listening to you earlier, Marv, about, you know, commitment, uh, making sure that you stay committed to the path. You don't give up too soon because I was always that guy that, you know, 30 days goes by, where's all my, why don't I have a calendar full of appointments? What's going on? Uh, you know, it takes time. You got to build it. I mean, I'm still, I'm shooting my, I just got my retargeting videos done. Uh, we just got them shot. And I mean, we've, and we've been working quick. I mean, hell, we started running ads on the 27th and, we got them done on like the 13th. So, I mean, it's even then it's, you have to keep shooting videos, keep on, keep on putting value out into, into your ecosystem. Well, so with everything here, Marv, summing everything up, I want to just share guys. This is the website to go to uh, big Marv's wave makers.com. Where, where did Big Marv come from? I'm mean, just curious. What is that? Did you brand yourself as that? Did somebody else say Big Marv? No, I, that was 100% me. I love so it. So Russell Brunson has this book called Dot Com Secrets. It's actually wow. a series that I recommend to all my new students. Read Dot Com Secrets and Expert Secrets. Because in Dot Com Secrets, Russell explains the theory of working around your passion and building a tribe of people that love you. Right. And inside the book, he talks about creating an, an attractive character that people are going to fall in love with, be able to identify with, want to follow the journey. Right. And so I started thinking, like, what kind of character can I create? And um, I've, I've always had, you know, like a, a big personality, like I've always had a big heart and I've always wanted to make a big impact. And my name, like a, a lot of nickname that I had was Marvelous Marv. And I, I was just like, I'm going to be Big Marv. That's it. I, I, I'm, I'm Big Marv from here on out. And I created a public figure page. And uh, that, that was just an attractive character name that I came up with. Because I was like, what what's marvelous? What's big? What's going to make an impact? Like, what? What can I be? Because I'm kind of a little dude too. I'm only five foot two. So a lot of times when people see me, they're like, what? I'm like, big in personality, bro. Big in personality. <laughs> I got I'm seven inches taller than Marv. So it's pretty <laughs> awesome. To meet him. No, you're no, you're not. That would mean you're five foot nine. Get out of here. I'm taller than you are. And I'm like five foot seven, but five foot two. Holy, like, I would have never <laughs> guessed. No. Dude, I I thought you were like six two or six three, man. Holy shit! I'm so, <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. So uh, so a lot of times when people see me, they they look down and they're like, "What?" <laughs> I, I would have never like, guessed. I, I'm Big Mark. You know, I just I just embodied it because I had to be something completely opposite of who I was, right? So. I, I'm an introvert computer nerd. Like I had a problem talking to people. If you go look like three years ago on my YouTube and you'll see like this nervous, like that you almost see like a caterpillar transform into the butterfly, you know, cause if you watch my videos now, I'm way more confident. I know my message. I know who I'm talking to. I know exactly how to help people. Well, in the beginning, I was just like, I have all this technical knowledge. How do I translate this technical knowledge to everyday people? 
you know, so you see me struggling a lot through that journey, but I'm just show I have over 400 videos now. Wow. And not, and not, and actually dumbing it down for, uh, and, and because, and when I say dumbing it down, that's not meant to come off in any sort of way that we have a better way or we know it's just making it relatable to everybody so that they can easily digest it. And so that they know, Hey, this is the action script plan. If I, if I do this, I'm going to get more people to click on my links. I'm going to get more people to like my stuff. Yeah, what? And that's actually one of the biggest, like, that's what yeah. every, every single person that I've ever worked with, they say that is the biggest thing, the most value that they get from me is because I understand the technical stuff so well that I can break it down to like a fifth grader. You know, yeah. so that, no matter where you are, I can have a conversation with you and relate to you and break down these platforms and it, it, it explain to you exactly what's going on to where you're going to understand it. And I'm still going to be able to do my job because a, a big part of what I do is I want to educate you. So you're, you're not just giving me 10 grand and saying, hopefully this makes me some money. You know? Right. So, uh, so that's what really helped me, you know, become into a coach because that I was listening to that feedback and everybody's saying, dude, this is your strong suit. Like, I know you're really good at all the tech stuff, but your strong suit is explaining these platforms to people telling them how to use them. Barb's biggest value is he can, like with Matt, the first time that I saw you two talk, he provided value for you to change, to help you change your business and get your ads to convert. You know, like you'll have an epiphany, but he kind of knows what is going on and can zero in on it pretty damn quick. So if it's something that you really just don't know what's going on and why it isn't converting, Marv can look at it and he can kind of put the puzzle pieces in really quick. Yep. Very, you know, very in, true. In, a, in a relatively quick time. You very know? true. And be very true. honest true. about it. Really? Yep. Well, Marv, I appreciate you jumping on. Uh, I think you delivered a ton of value. And uh, guys, if anybody wants to get a little more information on Marv, find out a little bit more about joining his group, you can go to www.bigmarvswavemakers.com and uh, we'll see you guys on, uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Marv, any closing statements? No, I just want to say thank you guys for having me on. Absolutely. I hope you guys got a ton of value. Just check out Big Marv. I'm on all the platforms. Big Marv's Network is my podcast streaming on 60 platforms. Um, if you want to connect, I'd love to connect with you guys. One love. Have a good one. Awesome. See you guys.